Hey, what's up, everyone? I uh, created this program called Microsoft Speech. Essentially, it uses a speech recognition engine to launch Microsoft Word, and it automatically opens up Microsoft Word. And it, in doing so, it opens up a blank page, and also shortly after, it activates the dictation mic. So you, you basically um, just go right into dictation mode, and you can just start talking and typing, and it's really effective actually it's I'm actually pretty impressed with it you know a lot of people try to do speech to text programs and all this other stuff and reality is is you can um, you know even add custom grammar to it or whatnot and it's still going to have a lot of issues and I find that Microsoft Word is actually pretty cool to implement using uh, vb.net which is what I'm using here um, if I were to go to my form I have this basically it's really nothing to it. Um, I have it set so it's invisible under opacity. It's set at zero. Um, I did go, if you were to go into view code and go to Solution Explorer and go to Solution Microsoft Speech, you can name this whatever you want. It doesn't matter. But if you go to Properties um, and you go down to Configuration Properties and you go to Configuration Manager, you can go into here and change this. It, it's normally set at any CPU. And if you go to new, it's going to automatically bring up the 64 and you guys can switch it over to 64 and just tell it OK. And then you would close it out and, you know, go through that process. I always tend to switch over to 64 bit because it uses less memory than 32. And just for the record, if you're using x84, uh, x86, excuse me, it is really no different than using 32-bit. Uh, so if you really want results, going with 64-bit is where it's at. So to begin this project, the first thing you're always going to do is you're going to go under your projects, and you're going to go to add a reference, and you'd go under assemblies. And over here in this little search, you can type in speech. And you want to make sure that you check this box and that you hit OK and add that to the assembly. As you can see up here, you guys want to make sure that you add all this. Um, I use some internal system timers in this um, that kind of fire off different sets of events. Um, if you guys look at this, I have, you have your commands for your choices or whatnot, um, and I've turned them into a constant uh, value, the string, which is why you see a V here. Uh, normally, you're going to see this right here, sitting here. Where this V is, but um, I converted it. If you add value to a string, it, um, like a, a constant value, it helps prevent corruption. It's actually a good method to use. Um, these are the timers right here. So we have one right here. And basically, what happens if I'm going to close this out? Basically, what happens if if I go into here under the rec the rec engine um, sub and I say Scarlet Dictation Mode, it's automatically going to start up um, Microsoft Word. And then it begins these little events right here. I've converted the the intervals as normally, I mean, you can set it at 3,000. You'd write it right in here. I converted it to binary. Um, you don't have to do that, but I do just LA Cleaner code. And like I said, you can leave it at, at 3,000. I've, I've left little notes. Um, this auto reset is good to leave false. That way your program doesn't continue to fire off the timers because you don't want that. This one is set for um, five seconds. And basically what this is doing, um, when I go up here and I, you know, say Scarlet Dictation Mode and it opens up Microsoft Word, it's going to go through these events, and this timer right here is going to do a send key, and it's going to essentially select the blank document, which then opens up Microsoft Word full. And then I have this little alt um, uh, send key, basically, which um, selects the dictation microphone um, settings for Microsoft Word, and it'll automatically activate it for you which was a pain in the ass to figure out how to do. And I also learned that you need to use send weight 
because if you just use send, you are going to run into errors and your program will crash. So, and down here I just have a case else, basically with a debug. It's, you know, if it doesn't hear whatever, it's just going to write it to debug. Um, I've left some little notes here for the public override functions for the equals. Anytime you're going to use that, you always want to make sure you have get hash code. And I've left little notes in here that explain how all this works and why it's important to use. And basically what it's doing is it is creating a get hash code for this whole section right here. It's adding value and just it makes your program run a lot cleaner. So now that we've gone over that, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to activate this program and I'm going to show you how it works. Now, in, make a note that when this program starts up, when Microsoft um, Word starts up and the um, dictation picks up, it's automatically going to cancel out the rec engine. So you don't need to worry about having, you know, this rec engine cancel while this rec, this rec uh, async stop. I have it in here anyway, just in the event. It did run into an issue, but I found even after I had that, that it did it on its own. So, and I found that it did it prior to that too, but just kind of keep it in there as a safety feature. Um, but I want to make sure you guys get all this code. And you guys will be able to go back and pause this or do whatever you need to do. When you go up here, you guys see the way these are set up right here. This is an interpolated string, and what that means is it's adding value to it, basically, and um, it just makes it more readable. So now that we have all that situated, I'm going to go ahead and start this up and show you guys how it works. Scarlet dictation mode. Yesterday I went outside. It was really nice out. Later in the afternoon I went to the lake and then I decided to go swimming. I really enjoyed myself. It was fun. Period. The following day, I ended up going to work, comma. There was so much to do. Once I was finished, I went home and cooked dinner. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. This microphone isn't the greatest, so if this doesn't type the way it should, it's because of that. Plus, I have a huge fan running in the background. So I'd say I'm doing pretty good. Period. So, there you guys have it. You'll see the little icon pop up right here, and you can just right-click it and just tell it to close. Um, I left that feature there, so you could actually close down the application if needed. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. It's, um, it comes in really handy, and it's just kind of cool. I mean, you could just open up Microsoft Word and do everything manually, but this just kind of pops it up for you. It makes things a little easier and quicker and people have kind of wondered how to do this sometimes so I decided to do this video to help you guys out you guys all have a good night and I will see you down the road